something that does need to be addressed is the issue of who's on the right, who's on the left, where are you in the political spectrum. The terminology pretty much loses all meaning when we use these terms merely as uh, pejorative terms. You're a right-wing Nazi. You're a left-wing commie. On and on. You, you guys hear it all the time on YouTube and probably in your daily lives. Liberals or anti-American, American haters. On and on and on. Uh, what I'd like to suggest is check out a website called thepoliticalcompass.org. Uh, it's a wonderful website. It provides a test. I think it's about 30 questions and it'll plot you on the political compass. What's interesting and what's significant about the political compass is it adds a uh, social dimension to the traditional left-right economic scale. Meaning, traditionally, left and right dealt with economic issues. Uh, your view of property, should it be collectivized, should it be privatized? that sliding scale of left and right, they had a social dimension that incorporates things like authoritarianism at the top and a libertarianism at the bottom and a scale in between. So that second dimension really gives a much more accurate uh, account for one's political views. Go there, take the test, come back, let me know how you scored. You gotta die, gotta die, gotta die for your government! Die for your country, that shit! You, you gotta, gotta die, die, gotta die, gotta die!